about how 500 billion was given to Wall Street and corporations. That's only the first layer of the story because the way that Congress gave that money to these corporations was, or rather was to the Fed, was in a way that was almost like a, a down payment on a loan. So they turned that $500 billion into $4 trillion, $4 trillion. And, um, and you know, the people that try to defend this, they say, listen, it was a loan, it was zero capital, it'll come back. Well, what if we use that same instrument to suspend all mortgage payments in the United States? And then so your landlord doesn't have to make a mortgage payment if that's the issue. By the way, this also applies to people who are homeowners as well, um, where you can get a break on your mortgage payment. You don't have to pay it the same way that we are suspending student loan payments. And that way you can pay that. You, they tack it to the very end of your loan cycle. So if you have a 10-year mortgage, you just add it to 10 year and three months, 10 year, whatever the amount of time you want to make that window to be. And then you can actually cancel rent for tenants during that time because you're either going to sell your property and get that capital back from the bank, or you're going to be um, or you're going to be renting out to another tenant in that time. And so we have the plan. You know, that's just one way to skin this cat. You may not need the skill for yourself. Your friend may need it. A loved one may need it. A neighbor may need it. And um, and really what all of the, you know, one of the best forms of defense is solidarity with each other and looking out for each other. So um, so let's get to it. Let's talk about eviction defense. Um, evictions at their core are about power and it's about how people use certain degrees of power over you and the vulnerable and the working class. And so to fight that power, to fight the power of money, we need people power. We need to organize individuals, neighbors, and friends around us. Why is this uptick in crime happening? Well, let's think about it. Do we think this has to do with the fact that there's record unemployment in the United States right now? The fact that people are at a level of economic desperation that we have not seen since the Great Recession. Maybe this has to do with the fact that people aren't paying their rent and are scared to pay their rent. And so they go out and they need to feed their child and they don't have money. So you maybe have to, you're, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shoplift some bread or go hungry that night. Um, maybe it's the fact that unemployment provisions have not been given to everyone. Maybe it's because of the fact that People have, some people still haven't gotten their stimulus check.